Now available in paperback and e-readers, E-Steam, Little Girl Lost. The Devilish Diva helps a lost little girl find her way home in this devilishly funny E-Steam series adventure. Get E-Steam, Little Girl Lost in paperback and e-readers today. Most black women believe that they are smarter than the average Negro. And because many black women believe that they are smarter than the average Negro, they oftentimes think that they are better than the average Afro-American Negro male. And because they think that they are smarter and better than the average Afro-American Negro male, they, can, they think that they can pretty much outsmart this Afro-American Negro male. And when they think about having a relationship with this man, they're not thinking about having a relationship with a man who they see as an equal partner. They're thinking about having a relationship with someone they can pretty much control. And this is why many of your relationships between black men and black women are often power struggles because when it comes down to this Afro-American Negro female, she thinks she is so smart that she is the one who should have all the power and all the control in the relationship. Now when it comes down to this Afro-American Negro woman, when she approaches relationships, she doesn't see most black men as equals. In many cases, because of her inflated sense of self-worth and her inflated ego, she pretty much looks down at men. And when she sees the average Afro-American Negro male, she sees someone she sees on the level of a child. She pretty much sees every Afro-American Negro male as somebody beneath her. And when she runs into people like decent working class brothers, this is one of the things that pretty much scares her. Because this is a man who has the courage to pretty much look her in the eye. And as he looks her in the eye, he can pretty much identify every flaw that she has. And, and another thing that this guy is going to do is he's going to hold her to the same standard he would hold himself. Now this pretty much scares the Afro-American Negro woman because she is pretty much used to being the one in control. She is the one used to pretty much being in charge. And she does not like being put in a position where she has to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a man or, or even worse, a man who is going to assert his authority and put her in the position God made for her as the help meet and support under him or beside him. This is what the decent brother is going to do. And this is one of the core reasons why most black women go out of their way to avoid decent working class brothers because they're going to go out here and assert their authority and they're going to pretty much put, try to make efforts to make this woman submit to his leadership. And your average Afro-American Negro woman would rather stay inside of her own head and be the big person in her head rather than go and face the reality that she is not the smartest person in the room. And because she wants to stay in her head and stay the smartest person in the room, this is one of the core reasons why she goes out here and pursues relationships with guys such as thugs, gangbangers, ex-offenders, and dope dealers. Because she believes she can pretty much be better than these guys, superior to these guys, and she pretty much thinks she can control these guys. Moreover, these guys pretty much feed her ego and make her believe that men are somebody that she can pretty much pity. This is why she is so attracted to these guys, because she believes she can maintain the power and control over them and foster a codependent relationship between them and herself, where she is the one in control. And as their puppet master, she believes she can pretty much pull the strings on these guys and pretty much manipulate them to do whatever she wants to do. Now, this power issue that this black female pretty much has is one of the th reasons why she thinks she is so smart. And she gets in these cat and mouse games with these dysfunctional Negroes because she wants to prove to everyone she is the smartest person in the room. So she'll get involved with a thug or a dope dealer or a gangbanger or any of these other dysfunctional Negroes because she wants to prove how smart she is. Oftentimes in her quest to prove how smart she is, the one person that she winds up outsmarting in many cases, in, ironically, is herself. Now when it comes down to this Afro-American Negro female, she'll play these cat and mouse games where she tries to outsmart this guy. Unfortunately, what happens is, in many cases, her games wind up backfiring on her. And the core reason why many of her games wind up backfiring on her has to do with her, because when it comes down to your Afro-American Negro woman with her inflated sense of self-worth and her inflated ego, she's oftentimes insecure. And the reason why she is so insecure is because she knows on the back side of her mind she's not as smart as she thinks she is, and she's just so afraid of somebody finding out 
the truth about her and how how not so smart she is. And oftentimes, it's not big guys who wind up outsmarting this Afro-American Negro female. It's often the same low-seated guys she thinks she's so much smarter than. Now, when it comes down to your Afro-American Negro female, she'll be pretty much reeking of so much insecurity that these guys will wind up seeing all the holes in her plan and pretty much winding up outsmarting her. Now, when it comes down to this Negro female, she'll try to do things to control these guys, like trying to lock them out of the house, destroying their property, and trying to do things like having children with this man to control him through the children. Oftentimes, these ploys wind up backfiring on the Negro female, and this is what leads to this Negro female winding up becoming so angry. So when you look at this Negro female out here who's always so angry, one of the core reasons why she is so angry is because she thought she was so smart. And because she thought she was so smart, she wound up outsmarting herself. And the person she's really angry with is not that Negro she's oftentimes complaining about. No, the person she is oftentimes angry at is herself because she was so smart, she pretty much outsmarted herself that she wound up putting herself in a dysfunctional situation. And because she put herself in a dysfunctional situation, she now winds up in a situation where her life is made miserable. And the reason why that's, her life is made miserable is due to her. But you can't tell this to the Afro-American Negro woman because she will not admit any sort of accountability or responsibility. And one of the reasons why she won't admit accountability or responsibility is because she wants to use this Negro as a scapegoat. And she uses the Negro as a scapegoat because she does not want to take that long, hard look in the mirror at the person who pretty much put her in the dysfunctional situation she is in where she's either messed up due to illegitimate children or she's been pretty much played by a guy because what happens with your Negro female that leads to her being in that situation was the fact that she thought she was the smartest person in the room and because she thought she was so smart she didn't see the person who was outsmarting her was staring her dead in the face. Now when it comes down to this Negro female She's not very smart at all. In fact, all she is is insecure and afraid to pretty much trust anyone. And because she's insecure and afraid to trust anyone, she oftentimes winds up missing out on decent men and great men and men who would pretty much want to work with her because she is pretty much spending most of her time working against herself. And the reason why she's working against herself is because, again, she believes she is the smartest person in the room. And because she thinks she's so smart, she thinks she's going to do something better. But oftentimes when she goes out on her own, because she has no logic to any of her plans and no reason to them, she often winds up in a situation that is far worse than anything that would have she would have been in if she had gotten involved with a decent man. And this is why she winds up falling flat on her face, because she thinks she is going to outsmart every man out here. She thinks that she is better than every other man. And because she thinks she is smarter and better, she winds up making a complete fool out of herself every time because she approaches things without understanding how things work. And because she doesn't approach things and know how they work, she winds up working on things that pretty much work against her. Now, in God's natural order, he meant for the woman to be the help meet and the support. And he meant for her to submit to male authority and male leadership and help men towards building things. However, your Afro-American Negro woman believes that she can be the leader, she can be the boss, and that the man is meant to be the help me. Unfortunately, this unnatural order only leads to chaos and dysfunction, but again, you cannot tell this to the Afro-American Negro female because she believes her plans for being smarter and better and doing things in a far superior way are going to surpass God's natural order, and God's natural order cannot be broken. And when it comes down to this Negro female, she will hit the wall a hundred times and insist her way is going to work. Unfortunately, this is God trying to show her that she has to follow his natural order and be, his, be the help meet and support to men. But she believes she is going to be the leader. And unfortunately, in many cases, she winds up leading herself into a ditch until her dying day. That's all I have to say for this video. If you'd like to donate to my Patreon, all you have to do is click the link in the description box. That'll help me be able to make more videos and publish more books. And I thank you for your support in advance. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.